Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around uh, July 17th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is my third try. So I've done two full readings, but I've decided not to share them, and I'm not going to share them. Um, it looks like it's going to be a upside down kind of day, okay? I think emotions are going to be all over the place. I think there's going to be a lot of frustration. People are going to be frustrated. Things are not going to go as planned, okay? Somebody may end up at the hospital, okay? I saw like a hospital bed a couple times. So somebody may end up at the hospital and things just don't go as planned, which cause some sort of frustrations, there's some sort of illness here, and, Ill and it's like the illness is getting worse. It's come, to, it's reached the point of collapse or needing serious attention, needing attention like right now. Um, uh, what else did I see? I saw that we did have the tower one time in one of the readings. It was reversed, so that's like a extremely chaotic situation, a faded event that uh, results in perhaps a permanent loss, perhaps. Um, extremely chaotic day I believe people are going to be all over the place and you I need to remind you to slow down uh, especially if you're on the roads I just saw that in my head tell them to slow down so I don't know what that means so you're going to need to slow down um, people are in a hurry and when you're in a hurry speeding causes accidents and I've said it before and I'm going to say it again so just keep that in mind um, beware of people that are speeding okay because things could get out of control and there could be an accident um, what else? What else did I see? Um, uh, both of the readings started with the Hierophant, so th that was a higher power being involved, uh, connection to God, uh, believe in yourself, but, and you're going to need to have faith on this day. Uh, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition. Uh, anything that you have questions about, take a step back and just listen, you know, ask for the answer and it will come, okay? You're going to need to have some faith on this day. Um, there is a higher power involved that is guiding you, so be aware. Just be aware of that. We do have somebody. We Up here, we had the high priestess in reversed. So that is somebody that is not very spiritual, that doesn't believe. Okay, That is somebody that doesn't believe in God, isn't very spiritual, doesn't believe in a higher power. And everybody's God is different. Your God's probably different than mine and whatever. It's kind of like politics, okay? But anyhow... Um, you believe whatever you want, and there's there's really no judgment from me on that. But anyhow, we do have somebody in this picture that is not very spiritual. This person doesn't believe that, you know, there's no such thing as awakening, you know, that kind of thing. That person's going to get a wake-up call. Okay, they, by the time the, you know, I don't know if it's the end of the day or whatever, there's a some sort of awakening that is coming for a person that is not very spiritual. Um, there is one person in this situation, I don't know who it is, that is very reliant on other people for advice. It's like tarot readers or channelers or friends or family for advice when they need to really start listening to their gut. Start listening. Stop listening to everybody else and listen to your gut. Okay? Wake up. Wake up. The answers are within you. Don't don't go by what else what anybody else has to say. Listen to yourself for a minute. Okay, listen to yourself. I don't know who needs to hear that message. Put the cards away. Uh, you know, I don't know where that's coming from, but uh, so we're gonna start right here. We're gonna get one of these for the daily, and then we're gonna use another. We're gonna get one of these even. So what do we have for around the seventeenth? Now what I see now is like parting ways. You know, parting ways from somebody. What I saw was a Three of Cups reversed. Now, that's very emotional. Um, this party is over. There's been a lot of competitiveness. There's, it's, there's nothing to celebrate anymore. It's not. There's, there's, there's a lack of happiness. It's, it's cleanup time. Um, there's a termination. There's, there's parting ways. There's, there's, um, Parting ways of a, and seizing a new opportunity comes next. So, ah, the hero font again. Interesting, interesting. So, I, now it's the third time. 
It was the first card in the other two readings as well. So that this is now the first card again. It's meant to come out. So there's a higher power. This is a higher power. This is access to God. This is a church, a priest, uh, a guidance counselor, a, a healer, a, somebody that is very spiritual, somebody that has a direct connection to God. Okay, this is... Uh, it's interesting because you notice this this dog even sees this person's power. This person is very, very, very powerful. It looks like this higher power is um, guiding. Okay, that's a guiding light. They're going to be guiding somebody in a new direction. So be prepared to be guided down a path. Okay, um, you're going to be guided. You're going to be guided by a higher power, okay? Um, that's basically all I can say. I mean, I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. Does it have to be? Um, but the Hierophant is represented by the sign of Taurus. Now, this has to do with family, okay? And um, I don't know this is a priest or it's somebody in high authority that has a direct connection to God. I know I'm repeating myself. I like to do that. Even, even, you know, I just, the dog, the dog stands out to me. The dog is looking at this entity or this person in awe, okay? It's just like, even the dog can see this person's authenticity, can see this person's energy. This is a very godly energy that is probably going to be around you, that is guiding you. It's guiding you somewhere. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, I just heard home. And I don't know what that means. Maybe it's maybe this could be protection. Okay, so I don't know. So what are we? Okay, there's one. Let's get one more card for the seventeenth, please. One more card for the seventeenth. This is also a card of faith. Okay, you're gonna need to have faith on this day. Older man. Oh my God. Older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. Someone will gossip at, gossip about all your secrets. Parrot. The three of cups reversed is gossip. I didn't say it, but I saw it. It's gossip. And it's parting ways with friends that are gossiping. Okay? So you're going to be parting ways with a gossip that has, been, that has been gossiping about you. Okay? So beware of some gossip. We do have an older man that is, is going to be very prominent on this day. I don't know in what capacity, but um, there's going to be dealings with an older man, period. Perhaps this older man has been gossiping. And gossip usually isn't true. Okay, gossip is could be partly true, but it's not usually fully true. Okay. So what do we got? This guy's been watching. This the higher power is watching over this family. Has been watching the whole scene. Oh, we have a flopper. Hmm. Okay, so this is about focusing on the future. This is this is getting ready, getting on board, getting ready. Getting ready to go. Somebody has been and getting prepared. They're getting ready to go. They're ready. They're ready. They've been waiting for the moment. And now it's time. Something is arriving. The time is arriving. What they've been waiting for is arriving. So we have an arrival. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands reversed. We had that one and the other one too. Sun reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Six of Pentacles. Judgment reversed. Justice reversed. Oh my God, we got some bad karma here. These are both cards of karma. Okay. Uh, justice and Judgment are both cards of karma. And they're both reversed. And they are mirroring each other. So somebody's getting... This is bad karma. Something not going in their favor. And maybe it's this older man. Because it's right next to him. We have something that is not going to go in somebody's favor. Okay? This is an injustice. It's not fair. Um, this is unfair. Um, 
This is a poor judgment call. Somebody made a poor judgment call. They did. They weren't aware. They weren't aware of the truth. Somebody made a poor judgment call. They weren't aware of the truth. May have some may have something to do with children, may have something to do with their own children. May have something to do with the family or, or a previous relationship. It has to do with the past. It definitely for this is children as well. So something to do with children here. Somebody wasn't aware. They were not aware and they probably made a poor judgment call. Um, there's been a serious struggle here, a back and forth competition. There has, this is a competition. So there's been some sort of competition here where, uh, you know, it's been a constant battle. Uh, somebody's about to receive some karma. It's going to be an extremely challenging time. There's some hard feelings between people. We ha we have a couple people that have been fighting. There's some, there's some hard feelings. There's poor logic. There's disillusionment. Somebody was disillusioned. They may have been disillusioned by another person um, that was being sneaky or something like that. We because I saw sneaky in the other reading. Um, but you need to. This is get prepared for um, something to arrive or somebody to depart. This is an arrival or a departure. Okay. There's going to be an arrival or a departure that you have been waiting for. You've been waiting for this. It appears that it's not really good news, okay? It's it's because this is sad. This is sad. Um, this is um, poor logic, unhealthy. We do have somebody here that is unhealthy. I saw that in the other reading. Poor health. Um, this is giving up, giving up the fight. Somebody, and this is giving up the fight as well. Somebody is definitely giving up the fight. So they're, 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 they've gotten ill, so they're giving up the fight. They may be um, giving, this is the Six of Pentacles, is giving, taking from one and giving to the other as well. The Six of Pentacles is um, about give and take. It looks like uh, this is, there's balance that is about to be restored. It's taking away from one and giving to the other. There's been some sort of lies, though. There's been an injustice. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Um, and it has to do with children. And there's something to do with children here. We have one person that really wants to hold on to the money that is very um, materialistic. The Queen of Pentacles, is it, that's, that is a money in her hand. Okay, she's holding on. She wants to hold on to the money. Um... She does have money. She likes money. She's very materialistic. She's very possessive. Um, holding on. Holding on to the money. Um, somebody here is all about the money. That's what I've got to say here. They're all about the money. They're all about the holding on to stability, you know. Uh, but the fight is over. The fight is over. Whatever that means. Now, this is packing up and leaving home. Somebody being freed from their obligations. Okay. There's definitely been some lies. Some big lies. Okay. These are both majors and they are both lies, lies, lies. We have an individual that may be feeling ashamed. They may be feeling ashamed for uh, not seeing now they see because this is now they see they didn't see the light but now they see somebody turned their back on their on the past or somebody is turning their back on the past or they turned their back on the children you know and that happens that does that's a poor judgment call okay it is definitely a poor judgment call to do that so anyway somebody made a poor judgment call they may have focused on money, okay? They may have focused on their job or money or materialism instead. Um, this Nine of Wands reverse is refusing to compromise. This is uh, bad luck, being burnt out. Somebody that uh, refuses to give and, and it's like something, I feel like something is being taken away. Something is being taken away and being given to somebody else. Somebody that can actually, um,
handle it, whatever that means. There's no love in these cards. This isn't about love. Okay, there's no love in these cards. Somebody was in a loveless situation that was built on a lie. It was definitely built on a lie. Somebody's not going to be happy with the outcome. This, they aren't. This is unhappy outcome. There's lack of accountability here. Somebody does not want to be held accountable for their actions. And they've been playing games. They've been, somebody's been playing games, but the games are up. The games are up. Somebody's, something's being taken away from this person. Something is being taken away. Ooh, it could be children leaving the home. Some, something, some. This is the end of a relationship. Could be a dying dream or the end of a relationship. There's, there's too much animosity. There's too much fight, fighting. There's been some lies. Somebody's been giving their attention to somebody else. They've been going back and forth between both. There's a lot of hard feelings. There's sadness. There's no growth. We have one person that this person knows their value though. The Queen of Pentacles knows their value. This this Queen of Pentacles appears to be uh, holding on to her own. She's holding on to her own. She's stable. She's responsible. She's devoted. Looks like she, she has a golden opportunity in her hand to pack up and leave. Somebody is leaving. Somebody is leaving. This is a golden opportunity to pack up and leave. Somebody could be coming to the rescue. Some, and it doesn't have to be a fem feminine. It could be a male. Somebody is coming to take them away. I feel like somebody is coming to the rescue. Somebody's coming to take them away from this situation that was built on lies that... You know, they were, they made a poor choice. They made a poor choice. Somebody made a poor decision and got themselves involved in a situation that wasn't built on love. It was built on competitiveness. It was a competition. It was about money. It was about um, materialism or something like that. Whoever they were dealing with um, had a chip on their shoulder and wasn't um, very loving, okay, wasn't very loving, wasn't very gentle, wasn't very kind. Whoever they got involved with had gotten out of a relationship and they hadn't healed from that relationship. They had, and they, so they got into the relationship really fast. So there was no healing period. And four or five months or three months is not a healing period. And so they jumped in. They jumped into a relationship. And they got in. And that was a poor decision. So anyway, somebody got into a relationship before they healed. And there were still hard feelings. And when they got into the relationship, there was no love. There was even... this Whoever they dealt with wasn't even looking for love. They were looking for... Uh, to play games. Okay, they were looking to receive attention. Okay, that's it. They were. So anyway, but this is like realizing the truth. I feel like there's this is like they didn't see it, but they see it now. Perhaps they've gotten some information from their friends. You know, maybe they've gotten some information and it's it's cause them to see the truth. Anyway, there's some sort of truth that is coming out that has been hidden. Somebody is moving on from a bad choice. They are packing up and they are leaving. And it feels like somebody is coming to take them away. Whew, block, blocking. Somebody may get blocked. They may get blocked. Blocking communication. This is a painful, stressful decision. I think it's scary. Somebody was in denial. They were dealing with a person that was uh, 
had loyalty to another person still when they got involved. And it's like they just chose not to see it. They chose not to. It was foolish. It was very foolish. It was a foolish move. Somebody made a foolish move to get involved in a relationship with a person that wasn't healed. Or something like that. That's what it looks like to me. Anyhow, um, this is definitely a setback. The fool reversed is bad timing. Very bad timing. Lack of judgment right here. This is lack of judgment. This is also reckless behavior. So I'm not sure what is happening, but somebody is, is has made a foolish move or they're gonna do something foolish and they're gonna they're gonna this is a fall. This is a fall. They're about to fall. Okay. This is the end. It's the end of the struggle. It's the end of going back and forth. It's the end of a relationship with an individual that was uh, very damaged. This person was very wounded from their previous relationship and they hadn't healed. And when you get into a relationship with somebody that hasn't healed, it's bound to fail. You, they person, you, they have to heal themselves. Anyhow, um, this is definitely a bad karma as well. Some the person that did it, okay, the person that did it is getting bad karma. Okay, this is this is bad karma. It is this is something not turning out as you hoped? It's, this is this is definitely not turning out as you hoped. And maybe it's bad karma for you for being you know desperate. Not, not knowing your worth. The Queen of Pentacles knows her value. And this is the kind of shit that teaches you your value. Okay? This is somebody who knows their value. And this is definitely something that will teach you your value. Anyhow. Um, this is an arrival or a departure. That... Uh, Somebody has been avoiding. Somebody has been avoiding. They've been avoiding the truth. They've been in denial. They've been pretending they were happy. Pretending they were happy. They have. They were pretending that, that it was healthy. They were pretending. This is, um, a this is, uh, what's the word for it? Um, oh, jeez, I'm girl, what's the word? False impressions. This is false impressions. Somebody was definitely pretending that they were happy, that everything was good. But that's over. It's over. This is this is this is everything coming out, the truth being revealed. So I feel like this day is going to be a day where there is an unhealthy relationship that um reaches the end. Okay, it reaches the point of uh can't do it anymore. I have to let go. Letting go. Because this is letting go. It's, 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 it hurts too much. It hurts too much. This is too challenging. It is. Somebody received uh, damaged goods. Okay. They received damaged goods that... Uh, it wasn't time. It was bad timing. It really, 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 really was. Anyhow, um, this is this is uh, packing up and leaving home, moving on from that bad choice, blocking probably this person. Somebody's going to get blocked. There's going to be a stop in communication. It's like this person is taking what's theirs and leaving. They may be taken somewhere. They're being taken somewhere to heal.
one more card. That's it. Wheel of Fortune. Perfect. That's a change in direction. This is destiny. This is a fated event. This is destined. This is a destined change of course. This is the wheel of life that is in constant mo motion that is changing somebody's direction. So this is the end of a cycle. It is. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of an unhappy relationship. It's a positive new beginning. Okay, this is this is uh, moving in a new direction. Somebody is moving in a new direction and they're ending an unhappy circumstance where it was a constant struggle. It really, really was. There was a lot of pettiness. There was a lot of back and forth. Many, many disputes, right? They were aspiring. They were fighting. There was a lot of in-house fighting. It, it was a, you know, a strong competition with this person. The competition is over. There's a destined completion here. Completion, completion, completion. Okay? Somebody got themselves involved with a person that wasn't really ready for a commitment. Because the Hierophant is about commitment. But this person had a big ego and needed a boost. Anyhow, um, this is this is a dying dream. The Ten of Cups reverse. This this is a, either children leaving the home or a separation or something to do with children. We have children, children, children. Somebody may have neglected their children. They may have, or, or something like that. Something to do with children. Maybe the children get involved. Perhaps the children were saying, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. And they were being, not listening. Somebody wasn't listening. But now they're seeing, now they're seeing and they're turning their back and they're blocking and they're walking away. Somebody is walking away. So this is they're going someplace. They're going to a better place. Somebody's is taking them there. Good luck. <laughs>